Number 50. A sample of an organic compound, which is a non-electrolyte, weighs 1.23 grams, lowered the freezing point of 10.0 grams of benzene by 3.66 degrees Celsius. Assuming ideal solution behavior, calculate the molar mass of the compound. Okie dokie. So, at the end of the day of this question, uh, we need to find the molar mass, right? And there's only one formula for molar mass. If we're trying to find a molar mass of a certain compound, the molar mass just means that we're going to take the grams of that substance and divide it by the total moles that it has. And generally, a molar mass is either of one compound, one molecule, one element, and here we're dealing with a compound. So we know that we're going to take the grams of the compound that's in this problem and divide it by the moles of that compound. Now let's see. Maybe we could get off easy by knowing already if they gave us the grams and the moles. So they said that we had this organic compound. That's the compound that we're trying to find the molar mass of. They said that it was weighing at 1.35 grams. This is the grams of that compound. So we know that the top number is going to be 1.35 grams. I hope that we have the moles because then plug it in and solve. They said that this 1.35 gram compound, the organic compound, lowered the freezing point uh, by 3.66 uh, degrees Celsius. Um, and calculate the molar mass of the compound. Okay. Eh, didn't give me the moles. So I got to think of other formulas. Now, let's see. They gave me a freezing point, right? We're dealing with some type of solution here. They did say ideal solution. And we have that organic molecule in a solvent. 10.0 grams of benzene. Now, Generally speaking, the smaller amount, which is usually a solid, right, will be uh, placed into a larger amount, and that's the benzene. This has to be the solvent. So that means that the compound that you put into the solvent is the solute. So we have a solution here. We have a solute, solvent, non-electrolyte, and they're talking about freezing points. So I think of myself and I say, okay, solution freezing points. Is there a formula for freezing points? And there is, there's one. And that's the formula right here. Delta TF equals KF times M times I. Now I knew that we were going to use this formula because this one is all about F, which is freezing. Now keep in mind that there is always a freezing point depression. So that means that if you have a pure substance, in this case benzene, which has a pure freezing point of 5.5 degrees Celsius, I did look this up in the back of a textbook, that if you now are starting to add compounds or solutes into your solvent, that freezing point will only get lowered. That's why it's called a freezing point depression. There is no such thing as a freezing point elevation. So your solution freezing point is always going to be lower than that of the pure substance. Now, they did say that uh, this organic compound lowered the freezing point by 3.66 degrees Celsius. Now, the wording can get a little bit challenging here, but from this, they said that this compound brought down that freezing point. That makes sense because the freezing point has to be lower. They lowered it by 3.66. It did not state that the freezing point at the end was 3.66 degrees Celsius. It was lowered by this amount. And if you are lowering by some type of amount, they're saying that this is the actual change, right? If you started off at one number and you ended off at another number, but you changed by 3.66 degrees Celsius, that's your change. And that's what a delta TF is. That triangle means change.
So this is the change in the freezing point. Well, just by the wording, they did say that that compound lowered the freezing point by 3.66 degrees Celsius. So I know that this number is 3.66 degrees Celsius. The KF is the boiling, uh, not boiling, because we're talking about freezing. Uh, this is the freezing point constant for your solvent. Your KF is only reliant on the certain solvent that you have. And the solvent here is the benzene. Now just know that benzene is C6H6. So they could say benzene, they could say C6H6. And that I also had to get in the back of a textbook. So the KF here is 5.12. This is a standard number for benzene. So 5.12 degrees Celsius per molality. Okay, so I have the delta TF, I have the KF. This fancy looking M is molality. And the I value is called the Van T Hoff factor. Now the Van T Hoff factor is a number that tells you how many ions will your compound uh, break up into, into your solvent. Now they gave us a big hint here by saying that the organic compound is a non-electrolyte. If something is a non-electrolyte, it will not dissociate. And the compound that you had in the beginning is going to be still existing when it's in the benzene in this case. It did not break up into positive and negative ions. So a Van Hoppe factor of this case is going to be equal to 1 because you only have the one compound in the solution. But let's just say that your molecule broke up into two individual ions. Your I value would be 2. So you just got to watch out for that. But all non-electrolytes is an I value of 1. So we have this. So looks like, for the first part, we're going to solve for the molality. So let's first do that. So 3.66 equals the KF value, which is 5.12 times X times the Van Hoff factor, which is just 1. So in essence, we don't even have to include it, but we can just divide by 5.12, cancel this out, and now we have x equals 3.66 divided by 5.12, and I get 0 0.7148, sure, and that's now the molality. So we're still not there yet. We still want to find the moles of that compound. But maybe the molality will get us somewhere. What is the general formula for molality? Oh, it's this. So let's bring this out. And maybe what I'll do is I'll get rid of this. We'll make this a little smaller. Beautiful. Let's make this all nice. Okay, now we're talking. So, molality equals the moles of that solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. We did state that the solute was the organic molecule, the 1.35 grams. But I can't go from grams to moles because I don't know what specific compound this is. It's like a mystery. But let's see. Do we know the kilograms of the solvent? The kilograms was the benzene, and they did say that we had 10.0 grams of it. So I just have to go from grams to kilograms. How do I do that? Yeah, we just divide by 1,000. You could similarly take the decimal, move the decimal to the left three times. So this would be 0 0.0100 if we kept the sig figs. The molality is the same number that we just found out, 0 0.7148. And now we can solve for the moles. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. So let's finish it out. 0.7148 equals something over something else. We have x over the 0 0.0100 kilograms 
cross multiply to get those moles. So I'm just going to take this answer that I have and times it by 0 0.01. Okay, my number is getting smaller, but that's okay. 0 0.007148. And that's the moles of the solute, which is the organic molecule. So finally, finally, mm, 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 mm. I don't know, songs just pop up in my head. But anyway, molar mass equals uh, grams of the compound with the 1.35 divided by the moles, which is 0 0.007148. Okay, let's do it. 1.35 divided by, I'll just take this whole number. And pretty big compound, whatever this organic molecule is. Uh, molar mass equals, we'll say, uh, I guess 189 grams per mole. And that is it. Let's just bring this over a little bit here. And that is the final answer. How fun is that? Okay. There we go. Cool. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you're having a great day. And let's keep studying hard. I will talk to you soon, okay? All right. I'm so glad that you guys can use these videos and that it's helping you in your chem class. We also got physics and math videos on the channel at the moment. Maybe we could help you with those. Um, but yeah, thanks for being part of the community. Thanks for coming here to get, you know, answers to whatever topics that you're looking for. And it's really cool to be able to go at your own pace with, you know, a, a study buddy. I will talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.